everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Lydia Nekazawa here, and today we're going to be getting into some YouTuber newsy news. But before we do, please make sure to smash subscribe, hit the like, ring the bell, and share with your favorite physics teacher. All right, now. Let's get into the VTuber newsy news. Okay, on to our very first piece of newsy news. The last couple of days, we're talking about Hololive device had a new wave of people called Flow Glow. So why are we talking about Flow Glow? Well, guys, YouTube has done something pretty interesting. This is posted on the Hololive subreddit by Glass Leading. It says, WTF Flow Glow got culled. And then it says, please check if you are subscribed or not. What When, when they say culled, what that means is YouTube has this thing where if they detect too many people subbing, they will go in and remove some people. They believe that they're bots that are following. So they're like, uh oh, this is too much happening too quickly we got to come in there and and you know remove some of these subs so let's see what some of the people on reddit gotta say big cast says minus 50k for everyone that's cold as f lady banger says sue from 130k to 60k that's just crazy it's definitely frustrating especially because for vtubers the debut is like the big push right for youtube to come and and uh, remove subscribers it's a little bit frustrating and especially because like they don't tell you right they're not like hey we've removed you as a sub from this channel they just do it which is very frustrating because you're like okay well like the big the big push, the big hurrah happens at the debut. For people to lose people, it's going to be a lot harder to get them back. Are there bots on the platform? Yeah, absolutely. It definitely sucks. It just seems a little bit unfair, right? It's unfair because they're like, man, I'm really working hard on this debut. We literally made a music video. We did all the stuff. And YouTube's like, eh, I don't know about these people. Anyways, if you are a fan of Flow Glow, Make sure you are subscribed. Okay, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is Haruka Caribou. And Haruka Caribou is a Canadian VTuber who debuted in May of 2020. And she primarily streams on Twitch. Although she was originally an indie, she later joined Vishoujo. This is Haruka. So why are we talking about Haruka? Well, guys, Haruka is not going through some fun times right now. So we're going to just take a listen here. This is posted by Just a Clipper. And it says, Haruka explains why she stopped streaming. So let's take a look here. So what do I want to talk about? Um, I guess the reason why I kind of left the planet. <laughs> there are a lot of times where you guys ask me, how are you doing? Are you okay? Um, and I'll be honest that no, I'm not doing okay. <laughs> Even mm. though I say I'm always okay to everybody. <laughs> and I feel so bad for lying. But yeah, I guess one of the many reasons why I have been inconsistently streaming is I am very severely, extremely burnt out. I have this very bad habit of when I feel really shit, mm. like I have been, I think, almost this entire year. Um, oh, I no. self-isolate quite a lot. My self-confidence is probably very f low. The longer I don't stream, the more I feel guilty about not streaming. Mm -hmm. However, I cannot get out of bed, Oh no! so I'm just sad. But I compare myself to others as well. And I'm like, I am so happy. My all my friends are doing cool. Sh and then I look at myself, going, Oh, Haruka, you haven't done f in two years ever since you joined Fushojo. The brain goblins got worse and worse and worse. Disclaimer: um, that these are my own feelings. Um, everyone is wonderful. I love my friends a lot. The thing I talked about earlier about comparing myself, um. Yeah, I was doing that quite heavily. And unfortunately, I've been comparing myself a lot with everybody else in Bishoujo. Oh. With all my friends in Bishoujo. Mm. Um, I'm very proud of everybody in Bishoujo. I really am. Um, because I keep comparing myself a lot, especially to all my friends in Bishoujo, um, I felt I was very inadequate. <laughs> I mean, like, how can you not feel that way? Like, everyone everyone in Bishoujo is like a juggernaut. So, yeah, I, I totally re relate. Like, that's... That's rough. I felt like I didn't really deserve to be in Bishoujo. <laughs> I felt... <laughs> I was holding them back. I'm not very talented at singing or... Um... Not very entertaining. <laughs> or anything like that. I'm well, just a little true. guy. <laughs> and I'm just going, I don't know how the f*** they accepted me <laughs> to Bishoujo. <laughs> I felt like I didn't deserve to be in Bishoujo because I've, I'm not consistent. Oh no. <laughs> that's uh, that's imposter syndrome. 
That's that's terrible. I'm probably just gonna be a PNG little guy, if that's all right. Um, I think. Mm. I don't know how to really explain this. Um, other than going, I feel like I don't really deserve to be in my model, or I feel like the current me doesn't fit my model. As a streamer, mental health is so important. And it's one of those things that is like really overlooked a lot. Depression and like burnout can impact people in a big way. As a Canadian, I, I look up to Haruka Caribou. I even did a collab with Haruka near the beginning of my VTuber career. And I always thought like, oh my God, she's so cool. She's so amazing. She's such an inspiration. And then, then I saw her get into V Shoujo and I'm like, oh my God, like this is amazing. And to like hear someone like you care about think that they're not good enough is, is heartbreaking, right? And not a lot of people know this, but before my VTubing career, I was a agent and imposter syndrome ruined my career there because I always felt that I just wasn't good enough. Even in the VTuber sphere right now, it is still something that I struggle with a lot. I think I'm not good enough to be here either. It's really interesting. I don't know, like hearing Haruka talk about that just kind of makes me reflect on my own journey too. The whole point I'm trying to make is that like, I don't know, depression and mental health touches everyone big and small you know so the people who are even in like the like the corporate vtubers who are even in v shoujo the people who should like be feeling on top of the world even there people feel like their accomplishments don't mean anything but that's not true anyways haruka i just want you to know that i i love and respect you i think you're great and your fans think you're great please know that you are loved by a lot of people in the community, even the ones you don't hear from, you deserve all, all the recognition. You really do. Honestly, I think you're incredible. So Haruka was very brave in, in putting herself out there and sharing her story and being vulnerable. It is a very hard thing to do. You don't want to ever appear weak, but talking about mental health, I think is a strength because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. Long story short, thank you, Haruka, for sharing your story because it's it's really powerful and it means a lot. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is Shy Lily. Shy Lily is a female independent VTuber from Germany who's based in the Netherlands. Why are we talking about Shy Lily? Well, guys, Shy Lily is also not having a great time either. So this is posted on Shy Lily Clips fan channel and it says Lily's health condition is worrying. So what's the news? Okay, serious talk. Don't feel comfortable talking about it. It's no one's business. My mm. health never has been. And yeah, I've that's never fair liked making it anyone's business health is part of what i like to keep private i have something going on health wise that mm. you can live with for a long time however depending on how it progresses and how fast eventually you're gonna have to get stuff done it's not life-threatening probably <laughs> okay. not Chat, don't worry i'm not fucking dying next week okay it most likely needs to get taken care of at some point chances are you probably need surgery and um i i think i've reached a point oh. god how do i put this the only reason I'm sharing any of this is because the surgery isn't easy and uh, recovery time is a uh, very long recovery oh, wow. time is very long. I'm going to a doctor tomorrow. Chances are I, I, I won't get much closure. Mm. Recovery time is very long, so I'll be gone probably. Wow. Chances are I'll probably be gone anywhere between uh, a minimum of two months and probably three months so that's why i'm sharing this because i'll be out of commission i don't mm -hmm. have cancer just okay. putting it out there so whatever you're thinking i've got it's a chronic thing sometimes it gets worse sometimes it doesn't so yeah shy lily is not doing well and is going to need surgery and will probably be out of commission for around two to three months i will say that's super difficult as a content creator if you don't post on your youtube channel for 28 days YouTube essentially nukes your channel. It's very unfair because we are human beings and sometimes things happen in life that we don't always plan for. It's kind of, it sucks, right? Because when you're sick, like that's the last thing on your mind is being like, okay, like how do I, how do I survive on the algorithm, right? Like you're actually, you're just thinking of surviving IRL and you need to work on healing because if you don't heal, then you're going to go to the big server in the sky, you know? So like, it's super important, like healing needs to happen. Uh, especially after major surgery. If, long story short, when Shy Lily goes off, she will need your support at that time the most. We're wishing her all the best when that does happen. So I'm sure she'll let us know on Twitter or X when that's coming, but uh, just be aware that this is coming. On to our next piece of newsy news. This is Shy Lily again. This is on Shy Lily's uh, Twitter slash X account. And she says, announcement, I've been working on a new system for creators to celebrate their gamer subs drops. 
New merch will happen Friday the 15th. Introducing Cupathon. More info below. And Chai Lily says, with the help of Gamer Subs, we created Cupathon. What makes a Cupathon special? We combine marathons and merchandise in a system for creators where all parties benefit. But how? Your community is able to purchase your favorite merch and raise the timer. At the same time, they'll also be able to gift any merch of their choice to a user of their choice or have the bot distribute it at random. Viewers can then check the website to redeem their free merch. Not only will people that participate actively in your marathon distribute physical goodies alongside raising the timer, but other viewers are able to receive these gifts by simply watching your stream instead of checking in every 13 hours to check on the timer. Every party wins, be it regular viewer, participant, streamer, or merch acquirer. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. Essentially, what this means is it incentivizes the viewer to get physical merchandise as opposed to like, you know, like bits or subs or donos that the viewer actually gets something in return. So it's an interesting idea for sure. It's definitely not, has not been done before. So let's take a look at what some of the people on Twitter are saying. Cinder says, finally gifted merch. I'm so happy. Emily says, this is everything. Pi Divine says, it sounds like a great way for creators to interact with the community and for viewers to support their content. So essentially, like there's a lot of question marks in regards to this. Like, for example, like, does a viewer have to pay shipping? Oh, do you get viewers addresses? Like, I mean, there's there's definitely like a lot of stuff that I'm sure has been worked out, but just isn't super clear. Like, it would be nice if there was like an FAQ that was like available to read. Long story short, this is happening. Is this going to be the future of donating to Twitch streamers? Maybe. I mean, everyone loves a free thing, right? It does make sense to try something new like this, but uh, whether or not it'll actually work out, we'll, we'll just have to see for sure. So if you are planning on participating in the Cupathon, let me know in the comments and let me know, do you like this? Do you hate this? Is this a great idea? Is this terrible? Let me know in the comments. Okay, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is posted on the Kurosanji subreddit. This is posted by Liquid Recto. It says, cover releases their financial results for 2025 Q2, dated as of November 12th, 2024. It's a 40 page document, but luckily the, the smarties on Reddit were able to, to make a TLDR version of what's going on. Highlights, massive revenue growth, plus 49.8% compared to Q2 last year, surpassing even the adjusted forecast. Operating profit and net profit increased massively compared to last year, jumping back from the small profit decrease in Q1. Merchandising carried hard up to 79.8%, compared to Q2 last year, plus 100% compared to last quarter, card game doing the work. Okay, so the bigger takeaway here, this graph shows quarterly revenue per VTuber, number of Hollow Life production VTubers. So Q2 last year was 87 million yen. It has gone up to 123 million yen. So as of the date of filming, 123 million yen to USD is around $796,345.05. That is an incredible average to make here. And yeah, you just it's gone up 41.2%. So you can see here in the graph, I'm more of a visual learner myself. So if you are interested in looking at the financial report, this is, this is where you'll find it here on Reddit. They're kicking ass, which is fantastic. So that is some good news to the fans of covering. Meow, meow. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is Nova Akumi, and Nova Akumi is an English-speaking independent VTuber. Was a member of V Reverie's first generation. You're seeing the word was, so what exactly is happening? Well, as you can imagine, is a graduation. So this is Nova Akumi's ex account saying, graduation notice, hello everyone. Thank you for your continued support. I am pleased to announce that I was able to purchase the rights of the Nova Akumi IP and will be graduating from V Reverie. I will be continuing my activities as an independent VTuber effective today, November 11th, 2024. Man, <laughs> Nova works fast, good stuff. I want to thank everyone who has been involved. Without any of you, none of this would have been possible. To my friends who I made since my debut in V Reverie, I want to thank you for the friendships that have developed. Thank you for having my back and always looking out for me even when things got tough. To my manager, thank you for your, all your hard work. I know hiring you was short notice, but you have performed amazingly over these eight months. I'm excited that you will continue to be my manager going forward. To my wonderful community of Novakins, thank you for watching my streams and participating in my community. Thank you to my mods who volunteer their time to ensure my community remains a safe place. Without you all, I wouldn't have the strength to continue my journey as an independent VTuber. Even though I'm leaving V Reverie, I hope you all will continue to support me. So TLDR, I'm indie now. Yippee! It sounds like she's very hopeful, very happy that she has her IP. So let's take a look at some of the people on Reddit gotta say. That guy says she bought the model for X amount that was expensive, but not overly expensive that would impact her living expenses. I say good on her. Bonte says, so happy for her. I've been worried about Novus ever since V Reverie started falling apart. 
and she's been doing well for herself in the admittedly niche TCG VTuber space, and it'd be a huge shame to lose her to some corpo nonsense. Happy Independence Day to her and all the besties. And Aaron Sentimental says, rest and piss V Reverie. Sounds like V Reverie is unraveling at this point. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, Nova, congratulations on your graduation and welcome to the indie world. I hope you have an awesome time here. Please go support Nova if you are a big fan of Nova, okay? because she needs your support now. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is Sayu. Sayu is an English independent virtual YouTuber. So why are we talking about Sayu today? Well, in relation to Sayu, this is posted on X under NOA Talent. It says, Uplink established Raven project debut announcement. Uh, Primordia has arrived. We got Sayu here. Sayu has now been officially tagged in this post. And here's the debut teaser. Okay, so this is Primordia. So it looks like this wave has uh, three people in it. Oh, look at that. Do we recognize somebody? Do we recognize someone? Mm-hmm. Debut is on November 15th. So yes, I know. I know Sayu's like, I don't want any more damn debuts. But Sayu is joining NOA Talent as of November 15th. If you are an enjoyer of Sayu's content, go support Sayu on this new adventure. Okay, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is another ASMR VTuber who's not having a great time. So this is Yuda Zoe. Yuda Zoe says, Dear Team YouTube, I submitted an appeal and received a reply within five minutes indicating that my appeal has been rejected. The timestamp you provided was not sexually explicit in any way. It could not have been taken as sexually gratifying either since I was only giving a positive affirmation to my viewers. I can assure you that my video doesn't contain content. I would like to kindly request for a human review to take a closer look at the content in question. Thank you so much for looking into this. Best regards, Zoe. Team Utah says, uh, Utah Zoe, here to help. Can you share the channel URL so we can take a closer look? Utah Zoe says, here's my YouTube channel. So this is Utah Zoe's channel, which as of filming is not available. The video deleted due to new content. And this is the exact, exact timestamp. Many thanks for being so quick to respond, sir or madam. So obviously, because I am a purveyor of YouTube. I cannot have you listen to what that was, but you can take a look here on X to see for yourself how it is. Housing for anyone is per purely positive affirmation. I'm sure it was just some kind, some kind of honest, honest mistake and will be taken care of by the nice YouTube staff shortly. So as of filming, as of right now, Utah to Zoe's channel is down. If you are a fan of Yudata Zoe, go support them on Twitter. The thing is, YouTube is really cracking down on a lot of these ASMR VTubers. We're not really sure if this is something that uh, Zoe will be getting back, but we'll be keeping an eye on this one. Okay, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is another Shiro. Another Shiro is a Utai mixer songwriter. They're blowing the whistle on something that we're probably going to see a little bit more of in the future. So another Shiro says, this AI singer is stealing covers. And then it says the channel is MKChiK4 is an AI singer pumping out covers using the stolen work of others. This thread collates evidence I found to make the community aware of what she is doing. And it says here, um, this person's been popping up on my feed for the past few weeks. And I have to admit, when I first saw one of their short covers, I thought she was human. But as I listened to her voice more, I noticed artifacts and strange things about her that led me to believe she was using AI. I believe she uses RVC by ripping the vocals from other people's covers and making her AI voice model sing exactly like the vocalist from the stolen cover does. This is she's newest cover of Whisper, Whisper, Whisper. And here's the cover she stole to make it by Ray. Again, super talented singer. So please go check her out. You can hear all the little runs are exactly the same in 17, in 017, Awai, in 021, Adini, and she even does the same fry on Akuma at 023. Again, this is one to one with the cover stolen. You can even hear Chi cutting out at 122 due to presumably the heavy reverb Ray uses there. There are lots of other factors here that had me suspicious before I found the cover she stole from, including how frequently she posts and that she seems to have a near infinite vocal range based on her song choices too. Things just didn't add up for this to be human. To conclude, I hope the evidence I've provided here shows you that at least two of her covers are undeniably stolen, but I am 100% sure all her other covers are stolen from others with AI used to cover it up too. 
I just don't have the time to find all the originals. This is crazy. This is crazy that this is happening. Essentially, the hard work that other VTubers are doing in actually making covers, this AI streamer is using. Okay, so there is more proof here. So this is Hectonagonist says, I put both cheese and Moe Cha Cha Fire's cover into my DAW and it's quite obvious the same vocal. Isolating both vocals and loading them into Melodine shows they're nearly the exact same waveform, which is not humanly possible. And then another show says it's good to have it confirmed 100%. So yeah, this is this is something that we're probably going to see, unfortunately, more of going forward with AI being so prevalent in our world. There is artistry when it comes to song. It just kind of sucks that like someone is just trying to, you know, put AI voice covers over things. So how do you feel about this? Uh, do you do you think that it's a slap in the face to VTubers? Do you not care? Let me know in the comments. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is Radia, and Radia is your favorite nuclear-powered aunt. Why are we talking about Radia? Radia says, five seconds. I accidentally zoomed in on my chest for five seconds while I was trying to adjust my mascot. No themes, no violation of the dress code, no exposed bits. Five seconds. Are you kidding me, Twitch? Hello, Radia Active. Twitch is committed to keeping our community safe for everyone, and as a part of that, we require all users to ensure that anything shared on their account abides by Twitch's terms of service, community guidelines, local blob, and additional safety policies. Based on a review of your activity or content, we have issued a warning on your account. Content classification themes. Man, I've been slapped with this one so many times. Don't get me started. Okay. I mean, is anyone surprised at this point? No, not really. I mean, can I just say like, I don't know, a related, unrelated, these bazungas are or human go. You cannot step out of line with Twitch Sama or Twitch Sama slaps you with the classification. It's frustrating. It's super frustrating. On to our next piece of newsy news. This is Victoria Bright Shield. Victoria Bright Shield was a female virtual YouTuber affiliated with Niji Sanji's ninth wave TTT. All right. So what's going on with Victoria? Well, guys, Victoria finally is able to say her last goodbye. So this is posted on the Kudo Sanji subreddit, posted by Spider East. And it says, Victoria Bright Shield's last goodbyes. Let's take a listen. So long, Sir Master, I'll never forget you. Aww. You're gonna make me emotional. I'm gonna cry. Oh no. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm also definitely someone that likes to kind of just lurk and hang out there. Mm. So for anyone that is just good with not chatting, I feel you. I'm there. <laughs> mm. Let's see what the people on Reddit gotta say here. Secure Key says she may have a bright future ahead of her no matter what she chooses to do. Last Power says, I hope she'll be more successful after her resignation. Exciting Permission says, she's so sweet. I legit teared up at her last goodbye. I really hope that in her own time, she's able to regain the passion to stream again. Because yeah, she puts a smile on so many people's face and it's just a wholesome person. It's posted on Kurosanji subreddit by Liquid Recto and says, Mogu's return is eminent. Don't forget to support the ghost girl. So this is in relation to Victoria. Okay, so Sunny Explosion says, let's go support Mogu. She deserves it after her time and effort. She is so hardworking, sweet, kind, and I guess she's my Oshi. Uh, and then it says, we love our number one Mogster. We want to be, we, it's not clear. Victoria Brightshield is Mogu Ghost, so go follow Mogu Ghost. So if you really like Victoria Brightshield, go support Mogu Ghost here, okay? So this is this is them on Twitter, slash X, so go support them, okay? Meow, meow. All right, congratulations on the retirement. You got out. Congratulations, Victoria. Woo, you did it. You did it. So hopefully, hopefully you're able to take some industry secrets and use them to your advantage. Meow, meow. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is Nini Amano. Nini Amano is a female English virtual YouTuber and member of Production Kawaii. And she is part of the first gen. Okay, so why are we talking about Nini? So Nini Amano has some... Kind of bittersweet news. Nini says, I'm graduating from Production Kawaii on November 29th, 6 p.m. PST, November 30th, 11 a.m. JST. I'll become an indie VTuber and have a debut stream the next day. Do you have any memories slash clips you want to share? You can use the hashtag Nene10 forever. So Nene is graduating and becoming an indie. So if you are a big fan of Nene, please go support. Because when they go indie is when they need your help the most. So please go, please go support Nene. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is Kaga Oren, or as we call Oren Chen. Oren Chen is super cute. So Oren Chen is a female Japanese YouTuber um, who wants to learn English. She is independent. 
so why are we talking about Oren Chan? Well, Oren Chan has had a new costume debut. So okay, Oren Chan says, everyone, how do you like my new outfit? My biggest thanks to Kesha for completing Nanatsuki Mom's final work. And thank you to Krim for the wonderful live 2D modeling. Her modeling skills have already reached the Hollow Live level. So that is absolutely incredible. We're very happy for you, Oren Chen. You look super cute. Anyways, congratulations, Oren Chen. So if you love Oren Chen, go check her out and go go compliment her on her new model because it's gorgeous. Anyways, that is, this is Oren Chen. Yow, yow. All right, so that's it for the VTuber News and News. However, we do have someone for the VTuber Spotlight. This is Cyber Sane. And please, Cyber Sane goes by Sancisco. And Cyber Sane is a cyber idol VTuber. So I had the pleasure of being on Alara's channel last Saturday. Um, so I was I was on the channel. So let me just show you this. So I'm here with Psycho, Connie, and Sancisco, and Alara. So this is me here. All right, let's take a look. You know what? Like, wasn't there a time where like there was like a bun shortage and everyone was like bringing their own buns to Popeyes? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't remember that. That's what I'm saying. Fun fact. Yeah, yeah, no, it was. It was like the, the the bun distributors like we can't keep up with the demand and people are like, I'm bringing the Wonder Bread. Just give me the chicken. <laughs> the lines were like at least two hours long too. It was a crazy time for some reason. Okay, I do remember. When the chicken sandwich came out, people literally were fighting each other. Like, there, people had to go to the hospital because people were beating each other up in line to get a, a chicken sandwich. Yeah, you're right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm searching here, and there was a very big bun shortage. I'm like, <laughs> you made me Google it. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, sorry, I'm full of weird information. <laughs> Anyway, so that was uh, so that was that was me and San Francisco on on Alara's tea time. There, um, it was a lot of fun. So go check out San Cisco. This is San Cisco on Twitch. And this is San Cisco on uh, Twitter slash X. Okay, and that's it, guys. That's the end of the VTuber Newsy News. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fabulous day. And happy Remembrance Day to those who celebrate. And um, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye for watching the video shout out to my patrons that help make these videos possible if you want to help support the channel you can always join my patreon subscribe to me on twitch or become a member on youtube i also have links to merch in the description below as always i appreciate your support and i'll see you in the next video Mwah!